Welcome, Scott. Thank you very much for being here with us. So I think it's a really good idea when, when warming up, too, since almost everything you do is a cappella, right? Yeah. So um, t to, work on a, a, to work right from there on a different kind of tuning system. You can hear the fifth. Here's the fifth. Good. And just make sure that you're not tensing up here. Still E like T, me, B, P. Yeah. Better. It's better. Okay. Do you want to try the piece? All right. Take our curio. <laughs> Everyone could, could benefit from this. It's so easy, especially in choral, people in choral music tend to want these enormous consonants, which doesn't really make it any, the language any clearer, it just makes it more consonant-y. It's very, very, very useful to practice looking in a mirror. Because if you see anything that looks sort of awkward, the chances are that you're doing something that is unnecessarily strained. Yeah, we're getting somewhere. I think this is a generally a good piece of advice for you guys is not to, not to go, eh, which I can't, of course, not being a bass, do it all. But um, that you basically want the sound, eh, to be in exactly the same place. No, physic, nothing really physically happens. You change the pitch. Great.